Yes. Hey guys, this is Roto, and today I'm about to use or open. Well, this is my first time using a um, battery tender for my car. Um, I got the um, SeaTech battery charger. I got it off Amazon, and I think it was like. 70 bucks, I think, after taxes. Um, so this is like my first time using a battery um, tender for basically any of my cars. Um, that's just because that, you know, before I got the M2, I drove my cars all year round. Oh, you guys can still see that hole. I need to, I need to patch that wall, but Anyway, um, yep, um, I'm gonna try and use this, I guess. I hope it's easy to use, like, I'm not, I don't know, I think this is just like, you just plug it in or something. So, you can watch my vlog about it, and how I struggle to do simple stuff. And I try to read the instructions, but, you know. This looks fancy. So, BMWs tend to use a lot of battery charge. So, it's, it's, I guess it's good to keep them charged if you're not using them, right? So, what is this? Oh, it's not actually silver. What color is this? It doesn't look silver to me. Okay, so, what? Oh, there's stickers to replace the um, warning sticker that's already applied here. That's awesome. All right, so let's see, just take this out. Just remove them. I don't know if you need to remove those rubbers. But here, I'm gonna go cut it and I'll remove it later. Maybe it's essential or something. I don't know. I just want to see the unit really. So I got the um, 4.3 model, so let's read it up. User manual, it's always a good thing. It's just the first page. Introduction. There's a switch mode charger with both flat and pulse maintenance and is a part of a series of battery chargers from SeaTac Sweden. Oh, SeaTac is Sweden? Okay, cool. Save this instructions. All right. Reason, it is of utmost importance that you follow the instructions each time you use the charger. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm not sure how long this is though. Well, let's see. the one that plugs in, I think, to the um, outlet. And you, oops, oops, 
Oh no, never mind. This is the one that connects to your alligator thingies. What's this? Extension for grounding? Oh, that's why there's the um, manual for that. But I think I'm smart enough that I know that you put this in here. Okay. Hopefully this is long enough or else I need like an extension cord. And I probably need an extension cord and I need to buy one. Because it's just not... that long well it's gonna be hanging so I definitely need an extension cord not sure if I have one all right personal precautions so they're having someone else close enough blah 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 whatever locate charger as far away from battery as DC cables permit Connect and disconnect the charger to a battery. Comfort. Connect. Ah. Oh, recommended minimum AWG size for an, for AC extension cords. Okay. Operating instructions. Connect the bat the charger to the battery. Connect the charger to the wall so socket. Power lamp will indicate that the main cables is connected to the wall socket. Okay. Oh, this is for. Ooh, it's dirty already. Damn. Damn it. Whatever. So I'll be connecting this. Then, oh, you know what? I think is, I think it's long enough because I'm gonna. Yeah, I think it's long enough. I'll still get like a extension cable, so I will get back to you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go get an extension cable. At least temporarily. Okay, all right, guys. So I, I was, I'm still using my extension upstairs, so I'm not gonna use it right now. But it says here to, well, SeaTac Plus. So I'm gonna connect it to the plus sign. Oops. Well, good thing I have. Expel ultimate, right? So even if those stuff keep hitting it, it's fine. Okay, so then I'm gonna connect it, connect it to this one. This should be good enough. I don't think there's anywhere else that I should be connecting it. I think this is a, I think, I think that's a good spot. Um, I can place it like that so I can close it and I can run this down here and that should be good enough. There you go. So I don't need, well, I mean, I still need an extension, but connect the charger to the wall socket. Power lamp, press the mode button. Just select, whatever. All right, here goes. Okay, what is record? Is record. So, can you guys see it? Okay. Let 
What's three? Oh, mine is just charged like three. Eight is fully charged. Four is ready to use. Wow. The battery is ready to start the engine. When step four is lit, the battery is fully charged. When step seven is lit. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, so is it reconditioning? Now I have to, oh, this thing is gonna hang like this for now. Well, it's fine. That's fine. Uh, reconditioning program. What is reconditioning program? Oh, someone's calling me. I am busy right now. Trying to charge. Charging location. Yeah, I already know that. Okay. So. What's this? Bulk. Uh. Wait, oh, is it, is it just like testing it right now? Is that why it's on three? Step one. Detect sulfated batteries. Pulsing current and voltage. Okay. So step three, charging with maximum current until approximately 80% battery capacity. Alrighty then. Okay. Yeah, I really. You know what? I. I'll leave it like this for now. Okay. So. What doesn't. Tell me what reconditioning is, or what it does. Yeah, it doesn't tell me. Connect the charger to the wall socket. Yes, yes, yes. The air lamp. Well, the air lamp definitely, definitely not blinking, so this is fine. So I guess I need to um, change the mode to car. Normal battery program. Well, since I don't know what reconditioning program does, I will Google it real quick. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Here it is. So I am on three right now, bulk. So three recondition, increasing voltage to 14.4, blah, blah, blah. So it's pretty much the same as the car. Same thing, same thing. And 30 minutes or four hours, depending on battery voltage. Ah, here it is, explanation. I don't need to Google it. Thank goodness, I can read. I'm just a little bit slow. 
Settings are made by pressing the mode button. After about two seconds, the charger activates the selected program. The selected program will be restarted next time the charger is connected. Okay. So reconditioning program used to return energy to the empty WET wet and CA CA batteries. Recondition your battery once per year and after a deep discharge to maximize lifetime and capacity. Uh Frequent use of the reconditioning program may cause water loss in the batteries and reduce service life of electronics. And so I probably should not be using it. So, okay, so hold on. Settings are made by pressing B. After about two seconds, the charger activates the selected program. The selected program will be restarted next time the charger is connected. Okay, so one, two. I am now in the normal battery program. Um, it is not 4 to 1 degrees Fahrenheit, it's colder. But that's outside temperature. In here it is like, I don't know, it's like 65 or something. I have a heated garage, garage so it's okay. Okay, so. I am on number three right now. Maximum of 20 hours, limit 20 hours. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and I think that's it. I just plug it in and hope everything is okay. And I'll be back to check if it works. I mean, I know it's working, but yeah, this is just like a bad setup. I need an extension cable. Ooh, why is this dirty? I'll wipe it down. Just not today. I mean, the car is clean, everything's clean. I, I cleaned it off before. I am storing it, so. I mean, I'm not storing it, but whatever. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. That's all I have to do. Uh, does it make sense if it is here instead? Like that? I don't think it matters. Let's see. Is it going to hit it? Like seriously guys, this is like my first time doing this. I have no idea, okay? So please forgive me if I am extra careful. Should I just leave it like this? Well, should I close it? I think this is fine. This is fine. Oh, that's right. I have to press it, but yeah, I think this is fine. Leaving the hood like this is fine. So yeah, that's it. If you guys have any comments and suggestions, let me know. This is uncharted territory for me. So thanks for watching. Okay guys, so it's the next day now and oh, looks like my battery is charged. So if it's on the um, seventh um, LED light now or if the seventh light is lit up, then it means that my battery is fully charged. So it took like more than eight hours to fully charge my M2. And now, you know, if I keep
keep this plug, it'll just cycle through it and keep it charged all, um, all year long. And you know, if, if I need to drive the M2, then I just un unhook this one and this car is ready to go. So that was good. And then, you know, um, I think this is a good investment. Um, and you know, if, if, if you have a car that you don't daily drive or actually, even if you just have a car, I think buying SeaTac is a, or at least buying a battery charger or tender is a good investment. So that's it. It works. I got it to work. This is my first impression and first usage of the SeaTac battery charger. Oh, did you guys hear that? That's the car cycling, I think. Or that's SeaTac cycling the battery. Nice. All right, that's it. Thanks guys.